In this video, we are going to look at the domain, codomain, and range of functions. The domain of a function it represents the set of all values of x, while the codomain represents the set of all values the function could take. The codomain of a function is usually the real number set. So what is the range? Well, the range is the set of all values the function actually takes. We are going to look at an example because it's a lot easier to look at examples and discuss these concepts. Consider the function f um, defined on the domain negative 3 to 13 and um, codomain r with rule f of x equals 10 minus x and we have to determine the range of this function. First of all, I'm going to represent this on a graph because I think think graphs are a lot easier to look at and uh, discuss. So it says that the domain of the function is negative 3 to 13, which means the values of x are within these two values. So they are from negative 3 to 13. I want you to notice that this at negative 3 we have a round bracket, which corresponds to a circle, which means that the point is not part of the domain. At the other end, we have a square bracket which corresponds to a dot, and this means that that point belongs to the domain, so x does take that value. To calculate the range of a linear function is quite easy. All you have to do is calculate the value of the function at the two ends, and then you look for the range. So for linear function, this is always how you determine the range. So f of negative 3, I'm going to substitute negative 3 into this equation. So we have 10 take away negative 3. Equals 10 plus 3, which is 13. I always uh, substitute negative values in brackets. I think it's easier to, to see what happens with the signs there but you don't have to. So, and then I'm going to calculate f of 13, which is 10 take away 13, and this is equal to negative three. So this point here has coordinates negative three and 13, and this point here has coordinates 13 and negative three. So let's, determine the range of the function. So the range of the function starts at the lowest value because you always put the, the values from lowest to highest. The lowest value of the function is negative 3, while the highest value of the function is 13. So when we look at the range, we look from the lowest value to the highest value. As you can see here on the vertical axis, we start from negative 3 and we go up to 13. So the range, as it says here, is from negative 3. And I want you to notice again here, I have a square bracket. Why do I have a square bracket? This is because the, the negative 3 of the function corresponds to the dot, while the 13 corresponds to the circle. So I have from negative 3 to 13 op open interval. The next function I'm going to show you is um, a quadratic function. Now this time we have the function g of x equals x squared minus 2x minus 3 with domain from 0 to 4. In this, looking at the graph, we can see that the lowest value of the function is actually below this point. So you always have to check whether the turning point of the quadratic is or not within the domain. So let's calculate the coordinates of the turning point. We could take them from the graph, but just in case you, have, uh, you don't have a graph and uh, you have to calculate them. So the coordinate of the turning, the x coordinate of the turning point is calculated using the formula minus b over 2a. b is actually the coefficient of x, so I already put the minus. 
the coefficient of x is negative 2, so you have to take the sign as well, over 2a, so it's 2 times, a is the coefficient of x squared, so it's 2 times 1. This gives us 2 negatives make a positive, 2 divided by 2 is 1, so we have plus 1, which is what we expected. To calculate the, co the y coordinate of the turning point, you simply substitute 1 into the function. So g of 1 equals 1 squared, which is 1, minus 2 times 1, which is 2, take away 3, and this gives us negative 4. So the coordinates of this point are 1 and negative 4. So always calculate the endpoint. So let's calculate g of 4 as well. g of 4 equals 4 squared, which is 16. Take away 2 times 4, which is 8. Take away 3, and this gives us 5. So we have three points that we have to calculate the coordinates for here. So the endpoints and the minimum or the maximum. So this point here has coordinates 0, negative 3. This point here has coordinates 4 and 5. And this point here has coordinates 1 and negative 4. So now we can actually state that the range is from the lowest value. And the lowest value is a dot. This point is part of the domain. So we are going to have negative 4 with a square bracket. Goes up to 5. But 5 is a circle represented by a circle so it has to be a round bracket the next function that i'm going to show you is a hybrid function um, here we have to actually determine both the domain and the range so to determine the domain we start from left to right and we look at the lowest value the lowest value here is negative two and we look whether we have a dot or a circle. So there is a dot, which means we have a square bracket. At this end, so we have values from here up to this end here, where we have a dot. So let's put the square bracket, and the value of x is 5. Then x doesn't have any values up to 6. So at 6 we have a round bracket because of the circle. At this end here we have nothing which means the function keep the function keeps going forever so it goes to plus infinity between the two intervals we have to put the union symbol so when we have more than one interval we have to put the union symbol between the two of them so the domain of this function is negative 2 to 5 union 6 to infinity. Now let's look at the range. For the range we are going to start with the lowest value of y. So the lowest value of y is this one here and that's a dot. So let's write range. So start at this point which represents negative 2 and it's a square bracket because that's a dot, so negative 2. And if you look at the function, the function keeps going forever, so I have values for y all the way to infinity, so the range here is from negative 2 to infinity.